All right, this is take two of a few open star clusters. Uh, we're shooting this from the city, suburb of Los Angeles. Lots of sky glow, but we have a Sony A7S camera, the new A7S, and we've got it connected to a Takahashi Sky 90 telescope, running at f4.5, magnification is 16 power. Focal length is 450 millimeters. Camera settings are 1 60th of a second shutter. ISO is 160,000. You gotta love that ISO. Uh, my scene mode is set to clear, which actually seems to provide a pretty decent image. Uh, we're looking at... Oh, I should mention that, aren't you? This open star cluster is called Messier... Um, come on, give it to me, my computer. Messier 7, M7. It's in the constellation uh, Scorpius, and it's got a fair number of stars and a bit of an X-like pattern. Spread out probably over, I don't know, a quarter of a degree of arc, maybe. Pretty nice star cluster. You can see it twinkling there, because this is a real-time video from our camera. And this is probably the highlight of what I can offer, but I'll try one other close-by, though smaller, star cluster called M6, which we're going to go to right now. I'm going to manually dial to it on my half-hitch mount that I'm using, and my Sky Commander digital setting circles, which, there we go. I think I could find that without digital setting circles, but that, I believe, is M6 Messier 6, which is another open star cluster in the constellation of Scorpius. Not too bad looking. So this is all real-time, 60th of a second shutter, 1080p, AVCS, I forget the uh, better codec coming out of the camera. And it uh, doesn't look too bad here. I'm looking at the, my viewfinder, or my, no, my monitor on the camera, and it looks reasonable. So, two star clusters, big ones in Scorpius, shot from the city, a suburb of Los Angeles, where the sky glow is horrific. Um, if I can this weekend, I might head up to darker place, we'll see. But there's a couple star clusters with the Sony A7S. Gotta love it.